वेलकम टू इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बॉन उत्तर काशी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बॉन उत्तर काशी इज वन ऑफ द सिक्स कैंपस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वीर माधव सिंह भंडारी उत्तराखंड टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी द फर्स्ट एकेडमिक सेशन इन द इंस्टीट्यूट वॉज स्टार्टेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विथ टू प्रोग्राम्स बी टेक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग बी टेक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग स्पेशलाइजेशन इन आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग Institute is having well furnished classrooms, well equipped laboratories and auditorium hall with more than 150 seating capacity and institute facilitates the students with uninterrupted electricity supply with 50 kW electricity connection and 15 kW generator gravity based water supply and fiber based leased line 100 Mbps internet connection Now the faculty members of this institute will describe about the equipments and the facilities available in the various laboratories of this institute. Let's have a glimpse of our engineering physics lab. Engineering physics lab consists of various experiments from electromagnetism, optics and semiconductor physics that showcase the fundamental principle and their applications. It includes experiment on magnetic field, behavior of light through lens combinations and measurement of electrical properties such as resistivity and conductivity. In Newton's ring experiment, interference patterns are formed due to the interference of light from thin air film between lens and glass. By measuring the diameter of fringes in interference pattern, the wavelength of sodium light is calculated, demonstrating the wave nature of light. The temperature dependent four probe experiment measures electrical resistivity of a material by passing current through two outer probes and measuring voltage across two inner probes. The material resistivity behavior with variation of temperature is studied. Stewart Gee experiment determines the magnetic field produced by circular current carrying coil. By varying the current and measuring the magnetic field at different points, it help us to study the relationship between current and magnetic field on the basis of Biot-Savart law. The Carey Foster bridge is based on principle of Wheatstone bridge which is used to measure the unknown resistance of wire. with high precision it works by balancing the bridge using a calibrated sliding contact and a known resistance bh curve shows the relationship of magnetic flux density and magnetic field strength illustrating hysteresis behavior of a material fresnel by prism demonstrate the interference of light with the help of two coherent sources using a by prism The transmission of light through flexible fiber using total internal reflection is carried out in optical fiber experiment. The generation of Hall voltage, charge carrier mobility and Hall coefficient is studied in the Hall effect measurement. The chemistry lab is well equipped with sophisticated instruments with good sensitivity and precision. Lab apparatus, glassware and chemicals, namely single stage distillation unit digital conductivity meter colorimeter vein balance steam bath laboratory shaker etc for smooth conduct of practicals the single stage water distillation unit is used to produce pure distilled water for performing lab experiments it involves partial evaporation and partial condensation of water to produce steam and condensed water in thermodynamic equilibrium Digital conductivity meter comprising highly pH sensitive glass electrode used to determine cell constant conductivity of electrolytic solutions and perform conductometric type digital colorimeter to perform UV visible spectroscopic studies namely determination of absorbance and concentration of colored solutions based on Beer Lambert's law students also perform experiments manually such as determination of hardness of water through complexometric titration viscosity and surface tension etc the students learn fundamental concepts of chemistry as well as their implementation in various applications through different experimental and instrumental techniques Let's have a brief introduction of workshop and basic mechanical engineering lab. First of all, we have lathe machine. Lathe machine is one of the most important machine tool used in the metal working industry. It operates on the principle of rotating workpiece and a fixed cutting tool. 
The cutting tool is freed into the workpiece which rotates about its own axis causing the workpiece to form the desired shape. Lathe machine is employed for different operations like facing, turning, drilling, knurling, boring etc. To understand the basic joining process we have a welding setups. Welding is a permanent joining process of two similar or different types of materials with or without application of heat and pressure. In our workshop we have a oxyacetylene gas welding, electric arc welding and spot welding setup. This is a drilling machine. A drilling machine is a tool used to create round holes in a materials by rotating a drill bit at high speed against the surface. Here finishing operation and sharpening of tool is being performed on a metallic workpiece using an electric grinder and bench grinding machine. In basic mechanical engineering lab we have universal testing machine. Universal testing machine is a type of mechanical testing equipment that is utilized for determining the mechanical properties such as tensile strength, compressive strength, bending strength and shear strength of various materials. To study the fluid mechanics concept, we have experimental setup of Bernoulli's theorem. Bernoulli's principle is a key concept in fluid dynamics that relates pressure, speed and height. To measure the impact strength of material, Ijot Charpy impact testing machine is used to measure the impact resistance of material. To understand the working of internal combustion engine, the lab is equipped with, with the working models of two-stroke and four-stroke IC engine models. These are the models of hydraulic turbines. Hydraulic turbines are used to convert kinetic energy and potential energy of water into mechanical work. This is a cut section of four-stroke diesel engine. A four-stroke diesel engine also known as a compression ignition engine. It operates in four strokes, suction, compression, power and exhaust stroke. Let's have a glimpse of basic electrical engineering lab. This lab is a part of first year curriculum of all BTEC programs. It introduces engineering students to the fundamentals of electrical engineering through practical execution of various concepts of electrical systems. Firstly, there are experimental kits to study and verify various network theorems. These theorems are basically the mathematical tools to simplify complex electrical circuits so that further analysis and modification of the circuits could be done. Next is the setup for practical demonstration of testing of single phase transformer which includes open circuit and short circuit test. Basically, testing of transformer is done to determine the losses and efficiency of the transformer. Measurement of power through 2 watt meter method and calibration of energy meter are also part of basic electrical engineering lab. To understand the basic mechanics of AC and DC machines, there are three practical setups. First one is induction motor which is the most versatile type of motor widely used in industrial applications. This experiment is to study the running and reversing of three phase induction motors. Now next setup is for DC motors. DC motors have the speciality of providing better speed control and quick reversal because of which they are irreplaceable in electrical system. So this experiment includes demonstration of speed control of DC motors through armature voltage control and finally this one is the setup to study the effect of load changes on speed and voltage of DC generators. We are demonstrating some practicals of basic electronics engineering lab which is mandatory part of first year curriculum of all branches of BTEC program. The outcome of this course is to familiar with basic electronics devices like diodes, transistors, rectifiers and digital circuit designs. At first, we are demonstrating the rectifiers which is used to convert AC signal into pulsating DC signals. The output of pulsating DC signals is 
shown in digital storage oscilloscope. After that, we are demonstrating the wave shaping networks like clipping and clamping circuits using digital storage oscilloscopes. Now we are moving toward PN junction diodes and see how it works. The input is given from external supply voltage and output is taken in the form of volt amp characteristics. These are some demonstrations of our institute's basic electronics lab. Computer lab of this institute is equipped with high-end computer systems with i7 Intel processor, 16 GB RAM, 21.5 inches monitor, etc. with internet connectivity through both wireless and wired mode with two 20 kVA UPS, multimedia projector, etc. Students use this lab to enhance their coding skills in various programming languages like C, C++, Python programming, Java programming, etc. Along with Computer Lab, Institute is also developing a laboratory for emerging technologies like Artificial Intelligence, Robotics, IoT, Drone Technology, etc. Students will use this lab to develop and enhance their skills for problem solving, thinking and creativity in these emerging fields. By using this lab, students may design, build and code AI and robotics based real-time projects. The English Language Lab at the Institute provides a specialized learning environment designed to enhance language proficiency through interactive tools and technology. Using the Digital Teacher English Language Lab and with the help of audiovisual equipments and headsets, the lab allows students to engage in listening, speaking, grammar and pronunciation exercises, thus promoting active learning and improving their overall language proficiency. Let's have a glimpse of our institute library. Our library consists a diverse collection of books spanning various disciplines. The collection includes books from engineering such as computer science, basic electrical and electronics, mechanical engineering, as well as sciences like physics, mathematics and chemistry. In addition, we also have books on humanities, literature and cultural studies. Apart from it, all of our students and faculties are registered with UTU eLibrary, a dynamic online platform that unlocks access to an extensive collection of resources. In this part of the video, we are going to showcase the academic, cultural and sports and social events that was organized by us in the past year. In our expert lecture series, we had Himansu Bhaguna, a software engineer from Canada, and Mr. Arun Kumar Singh, both of them uh, spoke on the issue of uh, skill set one required to get employment in IT sector. Dr. Shalendra, a professor from Pak Chandigarh, and uh, Dr. R.R. Singh, another professor from Pak Chandigarh, they delivered expert lectures on their expertise. Mr. Sachin Kumar, Commandant 12th Battalion ITBP Matli, he spoke on uh, the role of ITBP in Indian security and his voice from ITBP enthused the students uh, by their weaponry FGBC. And Dr. Priyanka Sangal from uh, PG College Uttarkasi, they delivered expert lectures on their uh, respective subjects. The naturopathy and yoga session was held by Yogi Vinod Brahmachari. We organized uh, National Science Day in the August presence of our Honorable VC Professor Onkar Singh and the audience consists of the school students of the local region. We successfully organized the 5th Dharadun International Science and Technology Festival where the audience consists of the students from the various schools and colleges in and around Uttarkasi. The highlight of the event was the science and technology model displayed by the students and the drone FGBC. In the direction of Honorable Governor, we visited more than 50 government schools in Uttarkasi district to do social auditing where we met the students, the teachers and the principal to understand their problems. As a part of Institute Social Responsibility, we adopted a primary school bond and a GIC bond. And these are some of the sports events that took place in the past year, the indoor games and the outdoor game in the form of cricket. Some cultural events, a debate competition going on, boys and girls showing their dancing skills and uh, students organizing the teacher's day. 
this is our cafeteria where the students having their uh, later moments and uh, some of the students enjoying the meal as a part of our expedition we visited to nehru institute of mountaineering where we were addressed by the principal of nim <laughs>